kid ain't been able to party for about a year now. So I just thought I'd bring y'all some online entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my gorgeous peeps in my universal world of peeps. Yes, we are still in lockdown. Professor like. Yes, my glasses. I look like a professor. I look like a professor. You look like Ginny Shearing. Well, they don't know who that is. Um, actually, they probably do because she's quite famous in the States. Oh, okay. She's on a sitcom. Hit us up in the comments if you know who she is, okay? <laughs> They're promoting people who already no, famous. No, she's wicked, though. She's a great <laughs> she comedian wicked, and she, she like, wrote a really good sitcom called Abishola Hearts Bob or Bob Hearts Abishola. She brilliant. Okay, so <laughs> today, because let's face it, we still cannot travel. Nobody can travel. Your butt should be staying at home until the world opens up again. Now, if you are watching this in three years' time, we have opened. Welcome back. Hopefully. Yeah, no, we don't <laughs> open by the end of this year, 2021, oh for sure. Oh, my goodness, please. So today I am doing an Asian-inspired salad. Okay. Before you get settled into this video, because you will get settled, because it's definitely going to be worth it, please remember, boom, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you ain't going to never miss waking up to the mama. Okay, who knows what this is? It's weird looking. I'll be honest with y'all, I didn't have a clue what it was. I was online with a food forum. And I had to hold it up and ask. And guess what it is? It's called a kohlrabi. It's it's kind of like, a, it's weird because it's kind of like a fruit and a vegetable-ish. Although it's a vegetable. Yeah. It's a cross between, it's got like a, a radish texture. Um, also, it's kind of like a jicama texture, which is what I like, that water inside of it. Um... And it's a vegetable that is great. You can actually roast this. So you can prepare this hot oh, or cold. Because I've only ever had it cold. I've only yeah. ever had it with sushi. Yeah, well, you get it in Japanese cooking. But no, um, I've seen recipes for roasted kohlrabi. Oh, okay. Curry. You could do all sorts with it, but I'm doing a salad. I'm also, and the reason I say it's an Asian-inspired salad, because I'm also using these. Do you know what these are? These are called... Are they the custard apples? No, 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 no. These are called Asian pears. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so these are an Asian pear. This is my kohlrabi, which is already peeled. Right, well, let me see that again. Keep it still. So these are, I'll show you the two. Okay. In there, so they're like that. Okay. That's your Asian pear, your kohlrabi. So the first thing we need to do, obviously, is we need to prep this one um, to get this ready. Sorry, what? Something, another plastic to put this rubbish in. All oh, right, okay. Sit uh, it there. That way, there. This yes, one. Just sit it there. Okay. Yes, sir. No so, all I'm going to do is I'm going to chop off the lid so that you can kind of see. Okay? Is that it? Mm hmm. And then I find it's best to kind of just kind of cut down. Do you know if these are available in supermarkets? Um, I think they are because yeah. I got these from the uh, food bank. The food bank donate vegetables weekly to me, which I then turn in. And they get a lot of these from farmers and supermarkets. Yeah, that, oh yeah, okay. I think if you go to a, um, especially if you go to an Asian yeah, supermarket, specialist supermarket, specialist supermarket you're saying it'll be worth people experimenting it's worth it. experimenting try something different okay now let's just get this one here typical literally as soon as we start filming um the phone starts we're not gonna ringing. answer though are we no we're not be... but it's, can you not hear it's not, it's not disturbing you okay no. we'll keep going okay so and then we want to just cut out any of these brown bits perfect and we have one apple left, I mean, um, Asian pear. So you could just peel it like this. Or just like that, I find that's the easiest. Get yourself a peeler. Ooh. 
And you can see this is really quite crunchy. It is like a pear. Mm -hmm. Let me cut you a bit so you can see. I taste it. Can yeah. it be eaten raw? Yes, it's pear. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, it's a pear. It, it, has a taste, it tastes very different. Mm, it's delicious. But it's really nice. Mmm, it's lovely. I okay. like that it's got that crunch to it as well. All right. So what we're going to do is I am going to grate this because this is going to be kind of like a coleslaw. Okay. So I just want to get it and small it up. A bit of Mother Earth ain't going to hurt you. Okay. Um, oh, I need stuff. the... I'll get it. Press her down. All right, press it down. Hold on. You know what I mean. Okay. I got my, you know me, I'm very technical. Press her down. <laughs> and I'm cutting my pears, as you can see, just to get the seeds and things out. So, what we're going to do at this stage, using my presser downer. Is that on the table? No, it's not on the, yeah, there we go. And that's not on properly. Tight. Oops. <laughs> oh, where's my arrow? There it is. Okay, now. Really quick. Oh. And we're going to do it with the pear as well. So that it all goes in together. So. Let me, because y'all don't need to hear no, all this noise. Worry, worry. So let me just get it graded up and then we're going to come straight back to you. Okay. All right, you can see I'm coming to the end of grating up. Okay, now I'm also going to add a touch of red cabbage because I wanted to have that, just some, some color to it really because it is quite bland looking. So, put this on. Stop it. The noise it makes. Okay, so. See this? I'm hoping to just make it so that it's just kind of like a sprinkling through. Mm. I don't want it to be a red salad. Yeah, all purple. Oh no, they are yeah, just that's enough. What I want, just effect. enough <laughs> to give it, yeah, to give it that little marbled effect. Oh, hang on, big pot, just that thick. Okay, all right, leave that. Let's move this. So let's get back to the dress. Now to this. Hang on, let me clear some space. I can't yeah, we're gonna clear. Let me just clear because we're gonna. Okay, look here, got rid of some of this mess. Now I'm also going to add some spring onions to this because remember, it's a salad. Alright, so we're just going to just try to just cut some of these off. It's pretty wet. There we go. And we're also going to add some coriander to it. Yeah, can't really have an Asian salad with that, can we? Handle? Okay, so here we go. I read a comment actually. Somebody what? has said that they are now using coriander in almost everything because of you. Oh, and really? They never had before. And really? Said, Thank you. Oh, good. Because they <laughs> so, say yeah, it they're adds. Still, they're using cilantro. I'm using cilantro in everything. Yeah, because it just it adds such a lovely flavour. Yeah, yeah. And they said, Thank you, Mama. Yeah, see, I never <laughs> used it in America. Ever mm. really, I've, I've used it in Mexico, but because obviously it's in guacamole and things like that. Oh no, get that uh -huh. out of there! Yes, we don't want any. That's why they make it blue <laughs> so you can see it? Yeah, but since living here, you've used it. A lot. Yeah, since moving to England, I use it. I love it, it's one of my favorites. Yeah, it's one of my ah, there we go. Yeah, there's another bit just 
Guys, wait a minute. Let's see? Mum, we didn't take the plastic. I didn't take my rubber band off, so now I'm having to hunt. <laughs> it's blocked. Oh, hang on. There's a bit there. There we I go. I think that's it. That's it. Can we see any more blue, people? Can we see any more blue? Nope. No nope, blue. It's all gone. It's all <laughs> gone. Let's get that in there. Get that in there. We'll just fold this over. I want some more of this in. Um, guys, so you know, you know we've been doing the Purple People Food Bank. Well, I've taken on a new one. Yes, we have. So now we are doing food banks every Wednesday and Friday. Yep. And this is our first one this Wednesday. Um, this will probably go out, so it'll probably have happened. A few weeks time, yeah. But yeah, I'm doing, and this is the salad for them. Yeah. So now we're going to juice some lemon because I'm making the dressing for the salad. And the dressing is lemon, fresh lemon, sea salt, and olive oil. Yum. Okay, so here let's get our lemon. One. Two. Look at that. Get every bit out. That's really good, yeah. Yeah, three. Yeah, and actually, I mean, one of the reasons we've been able to take on another food bank is because of people like you guys watching our videos and supporting them and sharing them and commenting and liking. So you are directly helping us feed people that need food. Yeah. And address food poverty. So we thank you so much for that. Yeah, and like I always say, by becoming a member, that's how you help us. Yeah, absolutely. So please become a member. Two pounds a month. And guess who you're feeding? Uh, you're going to be feeding 50, 200 people. Yeah. So think about that. For 50p a, month, yeah. a week. Yeah. Come on, folks. Feed 200 people a month. Okay. Yeah, a lot oh, of Wow, them. that's a good juice, sir. A lot of Those juice. Out. Okay. So now to this. My olive oil, because I'm going to make the dressing right up in there. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to get some gloves on, because I'm going to massage this All baby. Right, well, I'll go and get you some. Cool. Do you need some love dust? Yeah, go ahead and take it right in here. Okay. So that's that. Let's get some love dust, baby. Yeah. Pee on! <laughs> and for those of you that don't know what love dust is, it's our hand-blended... Cajun seasoning. We make it here. Well, I say we. Mum makes it. I don't do anything. Mum makes it here, <laughs> and it's available to buy. So you can buy it on our website. So check it out. And that's our salad dressing. Yum. Okay, so get me a pair of gloves. Yeah. Or you want to stay there and I get them? No, no, I'll get them. I'll just switch off. Coming back to you when I'm gloved. Now that edit it out. So putting on my gloves, and that's so that I can now just really. Get this. Oh, it's really pretty. Get it through. It's so important that things look appetizing. You do a lot of your eating with your eyes, if that makes sense. Yeah, so now let's get this over. It's a lot. I need that to go right in. Because that's going to help keep it. Yeah, the lemon. Oh, I want to taste this. Oh, you oh, Hang on, there's a massive bit of cabbage. All right, I'll pick it up afterwards. Okay. But you know what? What? Sometimes I like those imperfections. Put it back in then. No, I'm just saying because then people know that this did not just come from some factory. Yeah, well, it came from your factory. Mama Cherry Kitchen factory. <laughs> just take the big ones and I'll chop them down. Mm -hmm. It looks yummy. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Oh yeah. I'll stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've just had a taste. It needs salt. Thing about salt is it is gonna draw out the liquid. The moisture. That'll be quite nice once we pot it mm -hmm. up. Keep those flavours in. Mmm! Need some pepper. I've got the pepper here, but it's going to make this. Oh, you've got some. 
That's not coming down, Mum. Shall I give you this? Do you replace it? No, I'll hang that. Put a touch of chilli in. And I've got another bit right there. Yeah. That pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is a chili garlic seasoning. Is it got pepper in it? Yeah, I've got some pepper. Cool. Now let's get this mixed in. I'm going to test this. It may need a touch of vinegar. That's all I have. Mmm. 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 Yeah, it's hot still, isn't it? Mmm. Just refreshing. That's yummy. I don't think it does. Just really refreshing. I don't know if it does need vinegar, but you're the expert. Mm. To my taste, I don't think it needs it. You don't it. think it needs it? No. Okay, we'll go without it. I'll just chop this in. Oh, it's yummy. Isn't that yummy? And the crunch. You've got a crunch, just really kind of... Fresh. Mm, really good salad. Okay, guys. I'm gonna have to make that. So that is my whole rabbi with um, spring onions, red cabbage, and Asian pear salad. Delicious. Really delicious. So a little bit of peace, a whole lot of love, and. <laughs> My cold rabbit salad. Ah, delicious. Peace out. Bye. Don't stick your hand in any hot water. I got cooked fingers. I'm used to this kind of stuff, okay? Use a spoon. It's going to be like rubber, all right? And you don't want rubber in your dish.